locate your roof shingles, your roof gables, your ridge cap, your roof side rails, your inner cover, your roof alignment block and your hive roof screws. Place your side rails on a flat surface. The logos face outwards and when you put it together this should be flush here otherwise it's on the wrong end. Squeezing the parts together use the square drive screw and the square drive bit. Apply some pressure to get it started. Stopping when it's still just proud of the wood so you don't split it. If you're using a drill go carefully towards the end so you don't split the wood. Stopping when the screw is still just proud. At this point it's a good idea to check the roof square using the inner cover. Push it into the corner and make sure it's nice and square. You can use one of these roof wing screws to help you square it up by putting it in its place in the side of the roof rail and screwing it in all the way till it presses your inner cover into the roof assembly and brings it to square. Make sure once again that your roof is square before you put the shingles on. I've cut a pattern in here and a pattern into the underside of the roof shingles which makes it easy to place your roof in the correct position. Same on the other side. Then use the roof alignment block, press it in against the roof gable to line up your roof in the right position for the screw holes to match up. Hold the roof shingles in position before you screw them into place. And finally, place your gable on top, lining it up with the end of the shingles and fixing with your square drive screw. Inner cover on top of the super and the gabled roof. If you're in a high wind area, you may like to use the wing screws to fasten your roof.